Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you an everyday eye look using my Naked palette. This is the look that I literally have been wearing basically every single day since I got this lovely palette of mine. So let's just jump right in. So first I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and just applying this to my eyelids. And this exact primer potion comes with um, the palette which is really good because I am in love with this primer potion and um, it's just my favorite one of all time. I've been using it for over a year now I just and I don't even feel like the need to ever try another one because I just love it so so much. So anyways, um, first I'm going to go into this lovely palette and take this matte color. I'm actually going to do my crease first. I think that's a little weird. Well, probably people will think that's weird. I don't think it's weird. Uh, but I like to do my crease first if I have matte shades in there. It's just how I like to do it. So, I mean, you can always do this in um, a different order than I do it, but this is just how I do it. So, um, first I'm going to be taking this color called Naked, and that's like a light matte brown. I'm going to take this brush by Maybelline and just take some of my brush and apply it up and around in my crease. And the same for the other eye. I think this color and buck, which I'm gonna be using next, just adds so much warmth to the eye. I just, I think it is so, so pretty. And it just, I'm in love with this palette. If you cannot tell, I just love it so, so much. So now taking buck, which is a darker, um, <clears throat> sorry, plum and throat, um, which is a darker, sh like, kind of version of Naked. It's just this really pretty light chocolate brown. I think it's so pretty. Um, so I'm just going to be applying that in my outer V, not all the way into my crease, just, like, up and over a little bit. And I apologize for the appearance of my hair today. I know I say that in like every single video, but I really mean it this time. It's bad. The humidity is absolutely insane today. So as it is like all the time, but like today it's, it's bad. Like I can fully admit that it's just like frizz, frizz, frizz. I just have really frizzy hair. So just kind of how it is. Okay. Next, I'm going to be taking this flat shader brush that came with the palette uh, it just says shadow brush, I guess. So it's just a flat brush, um, really good for packing on shadow, which is exactly what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to be taking this color called Sin. If you have not heard of this color, I don't know where you've been. <laughs> um, it's just re this like classic champagne color. It's the prettiest thing ever. So I'm going to be taking that on this brush and just patting that in. And you're just gonna, you're not going to like sweep it. You're going to try to do this in patting motions so the color can come on a lot more um, opaquely opaquely yeah that's, that's definitely a word <laughs> it can appear more opaque than it would if you just went swish swish you know it just you pat it into your eyelid so I'm just gonna do the same for the other eye Okay, so now I'm going to be taking this smaller brush from Sephora, and it is called the All Over Sh the All Over Shadow Small Brush in the number 23. It's just this really small brush, and I'm going to be taking the shadow called Virgin, which is a really nice um, highlighting color. I'm going to be taking on this this shadow on this brush um, and applying it into my inner corner a little into my lower lash line and I'm going to be taking it maybe like a third into the in my inner eyelid just to like make your eyes look a million times brighter again I'm doing the same thing just packing it on Okay, so now we are going to take our little blending brush. Uh, mine is from EcoTools. This is like my favorite brush. Actually, no, it's not. Probably my Urban Decay brush that I got is probably my favorite because it just packs on the shadow. So anyways, I'm going to blend. So you're just going to go in circular motions 
and just make sure you don't have any harsh lines on your eye because that's just no fun when you have like a like a defined crease line in your eyelid it just it's not attractive so you're just gonna blend so you don't have that line <laughs> Okay, so now we are going to finish off with some eyeliner and mascara. I'm going to be taking my Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof Cold Kajal Kajal. I always get this wrong. It's Cold Kajal, isn't it? Yes. Okay, just going to start that over. Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof Cold Kajal Eyeliner in Nude. 005 Nude. And I'm going to be applying this to my waterline. And since we're going for a more natural look today, it's a lot better to use um, nude eyeliner um, versus black eyeliner or something like that because it's just, it looks a lot more natural. And just be careful because this does get in your lower lashes and that's just not attractive. So um, you can kind of try to scrape it out, but I mean, eventually it's, it's like not a big deal. Just try not to get it on your lashes because it just doesn't look good. So anyways. Moving on to mascara, I'm going to be taking, actually no, we're going to curl our lashes, I totally forgot to get out my eyelash color. Okay, Revlon eyelash color right here. So we are going to curl our lashes. And take my CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara in black, black is black, don't remember. Uh, it's just the blackest one there is. And just applying that on your top lashes. I do not like the look of um, mascara on the bottom lashes, so I never do that. I just think it looks so artificial and just not natural on me. Like, I don't know, because my bottom lashes are pretty long already, so I just, I feel like it looks really, really weird if I put mascara on them. And I think... I think I'm going to get a new mascara really soon. As soon as I get to the drugstore next, I just haven't been loving this too much. It's just, I feel like it weighs down my lashes and doesn't, like, hold the curl very well. So, I, just, I don't know. It's just, it's okay. Oh, this is always a tricky eye because I try to switch hands, but okay. We're doing okay. And I feel like it just, like, it's not, I feel like it clumps up my lashes. And it's, like, the name suggests it does not do that. It's a clump crusher, not supposed to clump. And I just feel like... It makes all my lashes like stick together and I don't like that and so I like to like have my eyelashes like I like volume and I like them to be separated so if you guys have um, a mascara for me comment that in the down bar because I'm looking out for one I think I might try the Maybelline one by one one by one that's it because that's like separating your lashes and so yeah, I will definitely let you guys know what I decide. So anyways, this is the uh, finished look. I hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!